Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add 3D bullets to your music videos and get a super fire effect like this. Now, there are two ways to do this, and I'm going to be breaking down both of them for you guys. So, if you have Element 3D, make sure to stay to the very end. But the beginning of the video is going to be inside of After Effects. The Element 3D way is going to look better, but it is a paid plugin. So, if you don't have the paid plugin, just watch the beginning. But if you're interested in learning more about Element 3D or just want to go to the Element 3D part, skip to the end of the video where I show that or just watch the entire thing because you're a G. But opened up inside of After Effects here, we have this NBA Youngboy music video clip, and we're going to be adding the 3D bullets to this. So I opened up a new tab on my web browser and we're going to go over to a website called Sketchfab. This website is the very best for finding 3D models and you can get them for free as well. Now before we hop into this video, the pre-order for Fast Effects is now available and I've given you guys a crazy deal. If you add Fast Effects to your cart, you can add two other editing packs to your cart that are under $40 and you'll get those two editing packs for completely free. So if I add Fast Effects to my cart and then decide to add Opium Looks and CRT Textures, I'll get CRT Textures and Opium Looks for completely free at checkout. You guys don't want to miss out on this deal as it's not lasting forever. Go down below and pre-order Fast Effects today. So I'm going to go ahead and just search bullet here. And you guys can see we can find a bunch of them here. Now in the top right, it means you can actually download them. Sometimes people just put them on here for you to look at. It's kind of weird. But these are both really nice. This one's a bit nicer. So we're going to click on this one. And then the thing you want to look for for the After Effects version, keep that in mind. I'm going to put you guys on sauce for both of them right now. This website so sick. You can spin the entire object and see how what it looks like fully textured. Play with the settings down here as well. If you click on download 3D model right here, you're going to have a bunch of different options. Now for the After Effects version, you're going to want the GLB file right here. This is super important as After Effects effects only lets you bring in GLB files, but using Element 3D, which we're going to do later on, you got to use .obj files, or you could take something like an FBX right here, download this and put it through a converter to turn it into an OBJ, but I'll get into that later. So we're going to go ahead and download the biggest file for the .glb, which is eight megabytes. We want the highest quality one possible. So go ahead and hit download. So once we have that saved to our computer, all we have to do is drag and drop it inside of After Effects here, hit OK. You guys will see the bullet is in here perfectly. Now, if we play our footage through, you can see the bullet's just sitting there. If you want to control it, you could use these parameters right here and just rotate it around. But I recommend dropping down this arrow here, going over to transform and then playing with the whole orientation here. That's where you can really get into the full 3D aspect of it. But I'm just going to reset that and turn off the bullet for now. Now we're going to track our scene. What we're going to do to do this is we're going to right click, go over to track and stabilize, and we're going to hit track camera. Now I have a ton of tutorials and tips on how to do this in depth, but I'm going to make it pretty basic here. Pretty much what you want to do is just hit the track button and then hit create camera. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our 3D bullet back on and we're going to watch it. So if it wiggles a lot like that, what we're going to do now is we're going to delete the 3D camera tracker, go back to the footage, click on the 3D camera tracker, turn off the bullet, and we're going to look for some pretty consistent dots. So these ones right here, we're just going to highlight them, right click, create a null in a camera, and now we're going to turn this back on and see how it looks. Now the bullet is still wiggling like crazy, but let me put you guys on to how to fix that. This is some super sauce right here. So if you go down to your bullet here and you go to the position, if you go to the very last one, which is at zero, that's the Z space. So if we send this really far back into the Z space here, you guys are going to see it's going to wiggle a lot less. If I send it like 50,000 back, it's actually going to wiggle a lot more. I'm tweaking. This actually, this track needs to be a lot better. Hold on. Let me just, let me cook for a second. We're going to go ahead and hit detailed analysis on the track here to see if it gives us a better track. And it looks like it did. We're going to go ahead and hit create camera again. And let's see what happens here. Boom. You guys can see instantly just like that. We get crazy camera track. Just takes a little button click here to get it a little bit nicer. So you guys can try the position trick by sending it really far to the background. It seems like it's making it smaller, but it's just sending it really far back in the Z space. So we're going to do this and see if it wiggles more or less. Maybe it gets a little bit funky. So we're going to reset that. And we're actually just going to turn the scale down. That's a lot better there. So now what you can do with this is I'm going to bring this over here and we're going to duplicate it like four times. And then for each one, you basically just want to play with the movement of it. So let's say we want this one like this and then we'll take this one and we'll make it what the hell we'll make it like this so we got some cool 3d floating bullets right there and if you want to add some animation to them i recommend going to all of these rotations keyframing at the beginning going to the very end and then just tweaking them a little bit like so so we get that bullet movement right there and you want to do the exact same thing for the other ones but what i recommend doing for the other ones if we go up and transform right here exact same thing key for the beginning and then we'll do some of them backwards here which is super important just so they're all not rotating in the exact same way and then this one here key from the beginning and then send this one backwards you guys can see we get motion on our bullets just like that looks super clean now this is a cool way to do it but you can't really blend it to your scene you can't add motion blur to them you can't add blur to them you can't add grade to them this 
is the worst part about doing it inside of After Effects. It looks clean, but if you really want to make it look like it's in the scene and add a ton more without duplicating them, that's where Element 3D comes in. So I made a brand new composition of the exact same clip. And for this one, we're going to be using Element 3D to do it. And I'll show you guys how much better it gets. We're going to right click, go over to new and then create a solid. And we're going to name this bullets. You got to make sure it's a solid, which is super important. The color does not matter. Now go over to effects and presets and you're going to search up element and drag and drop that on. Now you guys are going to see the solid is going to disappear and you're going to have this whole interface here. Now, before we dive into this, we're going to go ahead and go back to our web browser and we're going to go over to a different website called TurboSquid. This is where I find there's a lot more OBJs rather than Sketchfab. You're going to find all your After Effects GLBs here. This is more so OBJs. So I'm going to search up bullet. We're going to go down to price and we're going to make it completely free. And under format, we can select OBJ and we're going to see what it gives us here. So the options are kind of slim. We have this nine millimeter bullet, which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and download this one. We're going to hit download and then we're going to search bullet here and you guys can see it's going to show up just like that. So once you hit download it, It'll bring you to this page of everything that I've downloaded. Now the bullet isn't at the top, which means I've probably downloaded it before. So I'm going to go ahead up here to the search bar, search bullet. You guys can see I downloaded it in February, 2022. I had no idea I downloaded this 3D model, but I downloaded the exact one almost three years ago. So I'm going to click on it. So it's not letting me download the bullet for some reason. It says I have it purchased, but it's being super weird. So we're going to find a different one, guys. It seems like I already have this one and it's just like glitching in my inventory or something. We're going to go back to Sketchfab here and see if I can search for a bullet that's an OBJ. We're going to try the FBX conversion that I was talking about. See, it's really hard to find OBJs sometimes. So if you download the FBX here, it'll hopefully be in a zip and you know you're set when it comes with textures. Boom, we're set. Beautiful. We're set right here. If your FBX doesn't come with textures, you're kind of screwed. So you're going to keep this folder and we're going to search up FBX to OBJ. Just click on whatever one. I've, yeah, I've used this one before. We're going to open up file, go over to source, and we're going to drag in that FBX file and hit convert. Make sure we have OBJ selected. Now you guys can see instantly we're going to go ahead and download it. And now inside of After Effects, we're going to go into scene setup here. And now that we're inside of here, we're going to go over to import in the top left. Go over to where we saved the bullet. You'll see it in right here, a nine millimeter bullet. Double click on it. Ignore all this. Hit OK. And you guys will see the bullet is inside of here, but it's super, super tiny. So to fix this, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and hit normalize size. It's going to make it a lot bigger. Now to get the textures inside of here, we're going to go ahead and drop this arrow down and we're going to click on shell and go over to defuse and we're going to hit load texture. Now we're going to open up that folder and open up textures and we're going to see all of the according ones that match what it was saying. So we're actually going to hit cancel and we're going to look for defuse here, hit load texture, go to documents, find where it was and let's do this one here and see how it looks. So you guys can see we get the one color there. So you want to match it according. So where it says shell right here, we're going to go ahead and hit defuse and we have the shell right there. So under the bullet now, hit defuse again, load texture. And then where it says bullet, we're going to double click that. You guys basically want to match them all up perfectly. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to go ahead and do every single one. You just want to match the according ones perfectly with what they're saying, and you guys will be set. Now our bullet is inside of here, and let's say it's looking amazing, which it really isn't, but that doesn't matter. We're now going to go into custom layers, open up custom texture maps, and under layer one, we're going to hit none and we're going to select our music video. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. We're going to go ahead and hit scene setup here. And now we're going to go inside of the environment of the shell, hit this arrow and load in the video and do the exact same thing for the other one right here. Now, this is going to make the environment match the video. So it's going to blend a lot more to the scene. So if I open up group one here, open up particle replicator and then open up rotation. We can then rotate our bullet just like so. Pretend this looks like a glossy 4K bullet. I really didn't want to go ahead and add all those textures and ugh. anyways, we're then going to go ahead and turn up the particle count, go over to replicator effects, hit scatter, and then we're going to separate them using the scatter right here. Let's turn it up to like 400 and then turn up the particle count just like that. And then in particle look, we can turn down the size of all of them. In particle rotation, we can play with the rotation random just to make them all face random directions like that. And then key from the beginning, go to the very end and then hit rotate. And you guys will have an animation of them moving just like so. Now, all you have to do now is track them to the scene like the very beginning. It's super simple, the exact same as before. You just take your track point. I'm literally just gonna go ahead and copy the camera, paste it inside of here. And you guys can see we have our bullets track to the scene just like that. Pretend they're 4K glossy bullets. You guys pretty much just have to go ahead and add all those textures to get a look like that. Now, to make them look even better, we're gonna click on the bullets and go down to the very bottom here. We're gonna open up render settings and inside of shadows, we're gonna turn them on and set the shadow mode to ray traced and then open up ambient occlusion as well. Enable that and set that to ray traced. We're gonna get a lot deeper shadows doing this. And then I also recommend turning on the motion blur and you guys are gonna get that clean motion blur. And there you go. You guys have the effect just like that. You guys can drag and drop any kind of blur, Gaussian blur onto this. You guys can drag and drop any color correction onto this to make a blend of the scene better. Just 
maybe buy a 3D model instead of using a free one like I did. You guys will get a lot higher quality version of it, especially if it's an OBJ. Loading all those textures in was just not it. You'll have some of them that it will just have one texture and it will look perfect. So I definitely recommend taking more time to look for some bullets, download some free ones, bring them in if you don't like them, maybe pay for like a $5 one or a $10 one. It's definitely worth it to have in your inventory. But if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like. I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month. So I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Peace.